Belfast was the first big event in my life. When we went on board, the Marine Band marched us all the way from the parade ground until the Belfast came in view. And of course, that is where our new life was going to start. It was a complete and utter mystery because nobody but nobody knew where to go. I think you might have gone up the same ladder 10 times or down a ladder 10 times trying to find out where your place of work was going to be. Being a wireless operator, we had two radio rooms. One was down below Leck, and of course you had the bridge wireless office. I started in the main radio room and you would be put on a wireless receiver and maybe you would be taken down shipping forecasts and it was quite a challenging thing to be able to sit at a radio receiver and write down a message in longhand which you had to do uh, in pencil and so forth uh, without missing anything out because if you miss something out it could change the whole shape of that message so you had to be on your metal to be in that place. One of the main functions of the Belfast during the Korean War was carrying out heavy bombardment of enemy targets and when you have got six six inch guns immediately above your mess deck, which are firing literally every few minutes. Getting sleep was almost like a thing of the past, and that, you know. If you were in your hammock, the blast used to lift you up and drop you down again. When you experienced that for the f first time, it was very, very scary. Very scary indeed. But after a time, you kept on thinking, well, come on, you know, isn't it time you fire the gun? So I was okay. And so it went on and on. Memories, memories. I saw the Belfast when she was being towed into the Pool of London. I thought at that time, a very big part of my life has come back again. My son just absentmindedly said to me, we've got to get Jake an Indy christened. I thought, wouldn't it be absolutely lovely if I could get them christened in the ship's chapel? It's a it's a part of the Yardley family history that has got another connection to the Belfast. And uh, that's how it goes on. When I go on board, I never, ever, ever stop talking about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs>